Yesterday, I tested out NVIDIA's driver update that enabled resizable bar in the game, and we saw 5%-ish performance benefits. And then hours after I launched that video, uh, Starfield actually got its first patch to version 1.729. Now, if you look at the patch notes, at first I got really excited when you just see these bullet points where you're like, NVIDIA DLSS support on PC, a field of view slider, HDR calibration menu, and more. But wait a second. Uh, I, that's not what's in this patch. It says the first update is a small hotfix targeted at, at the few top issues we're seeing, and then after that, expect a regular interval of updates that have top community requested features, including these. In other words, this bullet pointed list is their top priorities for a r incoming regular interval of updates. So, ah, a little disappointing when I saw those bullet points and then read the details. However, what should we be expecting in this version? It does say that in this version, while there's some Xbox uh, changes to improve stability related to installations, uh, we are just seeing in general various stability and performance improvements to reduce crashes and improve frame rate. And I did see and improve frame rate. So let's see if the at least the area of the game that I have been testing has improved. Also in this video, I'm going to do some Intel Arc GPU testing to see how that has gone. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. So this is the testing I was able to do yesterday. I'm going to start playing this and talk about it as we go. What are we looking at here? This is a CPU test. So I was curious if CPU performance changed at all in this new Atlantis area that I've been benchmarking, which can be very CPU limited. Now the only CPU I had time to test is my Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, which is my main GPU benchmarking system. And so this is a very strong CPU, it does perform well, but I put in an RTX 4090 and ran at a low resolution in order to introduce a CPU limit to the performance. However, the performance is extremely similar uh, between, the, the, between the two here. We're seeing 96 FPS versus 94, actually in favor of the launch version of the game. Um, and so that's basically margin of error. It's a two FPS difference on the CPU. Uh, but what am I looking at here? Now what we're looking at is GPU performance. On the left side of the screen here, we have the launch version of the game and drivers. Uh, in the middle of the screen here, this is the 4060 Ti 8 gigabyte that I tested yesterday, where it's still the launch version of the game, but with the NVIDIA driver that uh, introduced resizable bar. And on the right side of the screen here, we have the new patch 1.729 and the re rebar profile. And as you can see here, performance is roughly the same, again, kind of margin of error, at least at these settings. This is 1440p ultra settings with no upscaling. So I did try out some other settings. Uh, this is 1440p ultra with FSR at its 75% setting, which is the game's default when you actually select the ultra preset. Uh, and here we're seeing 46 FPS uh, versus 43 at launch, but I also got 46 FPS on the launch version of the game with the, uh, with the uh, resizable bar driver update. So in other words, no measurable performance increase in this scene that isn't just being gained from the new NVIDIA resizable bar profile. Uh, it does not seem to be patch 1.729 itself actually doing any of the increase. Uh, but sometimes patches and performance fixes are not uh, target at every graphic setting. Maybe there's a different graphic setting that, that that works better on the new patch or something like that. So I did switch down to the high settings rather than uh, the ultra settings to see if we saw anything. Uh, but here, once again, the um, the launch version of the game with the resizable bar patch and the patched version of the game with the resizable bar driver. Sorry, I think I said patch before. Uh, perform uh, the same here at, um, with 46 FPS average and about 39 on the one percent lows. Uh, which again is about 5% faster than the game at launch, but it does not seem like this has been caused by the uh, by the patch, right? It seems to be the resizable bar performance benefit. And I did drop down to FSR uh, at 62%, which is the default for the high, uh, high preset of the game. And once again, while there is some performance improvement compared to the launch version of the game, the version of, uh, it, it really seems to be coming down to the driver uh, the driver update allowing for the resizable bar profile 
uh, rather than anything from uh, the game itself. So I'm gonna kind of skip ahead a little bit here. I also tested out 1080p to see if anything interesting happened. And once again, we're just seeing uh, this time a 4% gain based on the resizable bar update, but nothing different coming from patch 1.729. Uh, so jumping forward here a little bit, uh, I did also test out high settings at 1080p. And once again, I'm seeing identical performance between the launch version of the game and the patched version of the game when both are using the resizable bar profile. So at least my testing I did yesterday uh, did at least help us identify that. But I also wanted to test out what about some AMD GPUs and some Intel Arc GPUs? So what are we looking at here? This is now the RX 7800 XT. And on the left side of the screen here, we are seeing my testing I did for my review of the 7800 XT. So this was the launch build of the game uh, with the drivers, uh, you know, the pr press uh, review drivers for the 7800 XT. And then now on the right-hand side of the screen, we're seeing the public released driver 23.9.1 along with patch 1.729. And I am seeing a one frames per second difference at 1440p ultra, which is certainly uh, able to be attributed to margin of error between uh, benchmark runs. Um, and then testing it out again at ultra settings, but with the FSR at 75%, uh, both versions are getting 76 frames per second, so pretty much the same. Now, what if we go ahead and test some, uh, some other settings out? So I did also try dropping down to high settings with um, uh, no upscaling at 1440p, and once, you, once again, uh, even at the high settings, the performance is identical. We're getting 77 frames per second running through the same benchmark pass. And then uh, I did also test out 1080p just to be, uh, you know, thorough. And hey, 79 FPS at 1080p Ultra with no upscaling on both uh, the launch version of the game and the patched version of the game. Uh, so anyway, it doesn't seem like anything interesting happened with this patch to uh, AMD or NVIDIA GPU performance. Now, I also this time finally had a chance uh, to test out Intel Arc GPUs. Now, this is not testing versus the launch version of the game because the launch version of the game and the launch drivers for this game uh, just didn't load the game. I just couldn't get it to run at all. And um, now we've had some, uh, some new driver updates from Intel. And this is tested using those. And with the, the newest drivers, I can actually get the game to load, but you can see that performance isn't great here. We're seeing it at 1080p low, medium, and ultra. And uh, interestingly, um, sorry, I think actually this middle one should have been labeled high, and I think I got that correct over here. But the point is, it's performing about the same as, as, as the ultra settings over here. And it's uh, the low settings do bump up quite a bit from there. I was also curious, okay, if low settings only get us to 35 FPS, which isn't great, what if I enable upscaling? So in the middle here, we see FSR at 50% and FSR at 50% with dynamic resolution scaling allowed, which kicks in, I think, when the game goes below 30 frames per second. And you can see that the image here on the right is getting a lot blurrier at times. Um, well, uh, I was really confused at what was happening here. In fact, let's just like stop this for a second because this is confusing. Okay, so what we are seeing here is not me mislabeling things. What we're seeing here is that the game is actually performing better on the Intel Arc A750 without resolution scaling using FSR. Uh, Right, better. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know if the somehow the FSR implementation in this game is just having weird issues on the Arc GPUs. Also, the Intel performance was very inconsistent. Uh, I'm not showing the footage of it here, but there were times when I started up the, um, tried to load a benchmark pass, and performance was inexplicably low. And then I would just reboot the whole game, uh, start it up again, and then oftentimes loading into this game save, it would just crash. But well, the footage I'm showing you here are the runs where I was able to actually do it <laughs> without the game crashing, and the performance didn't seem as inexplicably low as it just randomly uh, turned into sometimes. So my conclusion here is that uh, the game is still not in a good place on the Intel Arc GPUs, and it's, it's weird to see that the uh, resolution scaling is actually performing worse uh, the native resolution, again, FSR should work on, um, you know, 
Intel hardware okay. It does in other games that I've tested. So I just found this to be pretty strange. So anyway, to kind of wrap up my thoughts overall, hey, we did get patch 1.7.29, fixes and improvements. It did, ah, I just went off the screen for a second. It did mention improved frame rate, but um, at least in the area of the game that I'm testing. And, that's, and that, that's what I will say is this is a huge game and I am testing one small part of New Atlantis. So it's possible that other areas of the game maybe got a more noticeable fix here. But it also seems clear that they're calling this patch a small hot fix, and they're planning much more major updates coming with much uh, uh, more desired features, and I would hope uh, maybe some more performance improvements. Uh, they also mention in this uh, post that they're working closely with NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel on driver support and each update will include new stability and performance improvements. So this is something I expect to improve over time, and if you guys continue to seem interested in it, one of the benefits of me gathering this footage over time with these uh, updates is that we could then do continual comparisons over time when we get the, uh, the patches and see if we can find any more measurable performance changes than what we saw here. Uh, but I think that's all I've got for you today. I uh, wish I could have reported a massive performance improvement. Um, at least Intel Arc GPUs on the latest drivers can boot the game now. <laughs> um, but yeah, this 1.7.29 did not seem to bring any major performance benefits that I could measure in the scene I'm testing. And I hope all of you have an excellent day.